Okay, so now that all your uh, holes are closed, either in MeshLab or Blender, you're ready to extrude. Uh, a couple of notes that I want to add. You can uh, scroll up or down on the object by holding down the Shift button and scrolling. This helps uh, when you would like to close certain holes and you want to zoom in on specific parts. Another thing, uh, you can see color in your object by pressing V. This helps to uh, sort of refresh your mind on where sort of parts of the object are. So, uh, to extrude, what you want to do is go into edit mode again by pressing tab, select all by pressing A, and now extrude by pressing E, uh, extrude region. Uh, you'll notice that it's uh, sort of guided along this random axis. Usually you want to guide it along the Z axis, so press Z, and now extrude it back. What you want to do is uh, make sure that the closest point of the extruded part is further than the, than the furthest point uh, on the original skin or mesh. So now when you edit or when you go back to object mode, you should see a, a, a simple extruded portion of your original scan. Uh, one side of it will be inverted. So from here, what I like to do is add a plane by pressing spacebar, add mesh plane. Uh, it usually will be too small to see, so you can press S and then drag the cursor away from the center. Uh, click and you can do that again. Uh, what you want to do is just make the plane bigger than the object. Now what you want to do is move this plane uh, far back enough so that it's going to cut off a section of the object you just scanned. So try to move it back far enough so that there's a um, so that it's not cutting off any important detail that you want to print. From here, um, select both objects by holding Shift and now right-clicking the original object. Both of them should be, uh, should be selected, and you can know that by seeing if they both have purple borders. So now go to Object, Boolean Operation. And now, depending on um, how big your object and your plane are, you may either want to use union or difference. Uh, try one of them. Usually union works, um, but sometimes what will happen is uh, Blender will not realize which side of the mesh you want to keep. So uh, often it will sort of chop off the wrong side in my case, uh, when I selected Union, it chopped off the whole front and only kept the back, which I did not want. So I had to change to Difference. And again, uh, depending on how detailed your mesh is, this process could take anywhere from 10 seconds up to 20 minutes. So you might have to be patient. Uh, so, you'll see, once this is done, the object looks very freckly. This is because there's actually two sort of meshes in the same exact place. So, drag the selected mesh away, uh, and you can delete it by pressing X. Now, you'll just be left with the side you want and a flat back. This sort of uh, makes things a lot cleaner, if you want to just print out one side. So from here, um, you can either leave it the way it is and simply print as the flat back um, as the bottom. However, uh, since the MakerBot has better resolution in uh, the Z axis, a lot of people want to uh, or would like to print as either the bottom or the top of the object being the bottom uh, of the print. So 
What you can do from here is add another plane by pressing spacebar, add mesh plane, uh, scale it up again so it's reasonably large, and uh, rotate it around uh, either the y axis or x axis, depending on uh, which way you want it to go. You can rotate by dragging the mouse in a circular motion, and then when you let go, it'll be able to rotate the object. Uh, make it 90 degrees to the, the flat back that you just created, and click. So move, uh, move the plane down to where you'd like the, either the chin or the face or whatever object you're scanning or cutting. Um, and you usually don't want to cut off too much, but just make sure you have enough of a flat bottom uh, that can allow the object to be printed and not fall over during mid-print. So select both objects again. Uh, again, Boolean operation, either union or difference, depending on your object. Okay, so again, it's all freckly. Uh, drag that away, delete it. Now, one thing you'll notice, uh, depending on how large the plane is relative to uh, how how big that portion of the object was, you may be left with sort of the opposite of what you want. As in, there's a hole in the object, and the plane is, is sort of sticking out from the, the other sides. So this is easy to fix. All you need to do is select the object, uh, go into edit mode, and now uh, press BB to select all four corners of the object. Now what you can do is uh, press Alt or Option M, or again go to Mesh, Vertice, Merge, and Merge at Center. And now when you go back to Object Mode, it should be a flat bottom. Uh, if it's if the uh, point uh, of the plane is sticking out, you can move it back if you want. Um, into the middle of the plane. Just make sure that you didn't change the um, change it so it's sticking out or popping out, and the bottom has been flattened. Out. So there you have it. Um, you should now have an object with a flat printable bottom side and a flat back. Uh, there's a lot more ways to do this and to make objects look cleaner and better. Uh, however, this is a super easy and quick way to take a scan and just print out the features that you want to be seen in real life. So I hope this works. Um, there will be more videos coming up soon on how to take a scan of both sides of the object and mesh it together so that you could really uh, get the full 3D image, not just one part extruded. Uh, but for now, this is a very easy way to, to start off.